Today I will talk about exposing an intaglio photopolymer plate. Photopolymer plates are made with a steel backing on one side and emulsion on the other. They are advertised as non-toxic. Because they are light sensitive, the plates should remain in their light safe bag until you're ready to expose them. The sun will provide the light for the method I am demonstrating. Exposure should be done between the hours of 11 a.m. and 1 p.m. on a completely clear day when the sun is at its height. Cloud cover or anything less than direct, unfiltered sunlight will yield unpredictable results. It is imperative that the image and the plate have good contact. Any light that is able to creep between the two will result in hazy edges and a loss of fidelity, so you really do need an exposure unit if you are not drawing directly on the plate. Before exposing the plate, set up the washout area. For this, you will need some scrap newsprint or other type of smooth paper. I'm using packing paper. Do not use towels or paper towels that might deposit lint in the tacky emulsion. You will also need a soft scrub brush. If the bristles are too stiff, they will scratch the plate. Nail brushes work well. With the washout area prepped, you're ready to set up the exposure unit. While inside and away from direct sunlight, disassemble the exposure unit. You don't need total darkness or a safe light. Ambient light is okay. Drawing the curtains is usually enough protection. Remove the plate from its light safe bag. For this demo, I am using the Solar Plate brand of photopolymer. Different brands will have different exposure times. Peel off the clear protective sheet from the plate. Set the plate with the emulsion side up in the center of the exposure unit. Place the image you are exposing face side down. This is an emulsion to emulsion contact, so whichever side you drew on is the side that should face the plate. This provides the best contact and will ensure your image looks the same as how you drew it and is not reversed after printing the plate. Place the clear top sheet of glass on top of your drawing. Even if that drawing was made on glass, you still need the top half of the exposure unit to make a good seal. Center the clamps on all four sides. Check that you have good contact. If you are using a film or transparency, an oil slick should appear if you look at the surface of the plate from this angle. Any dust or debris that may be caught in the unit can block light and appear on the plate, so be sure to remove that. If, at any point, you need to pause what you're doing, you can throw a blanket or towel over top of the plate to block light. Or you can set the plate face down. Next, set a timer for 30 seconds. Once everything is assembled and the timer is ready, you're set to expose. The unit will provide the most reliable results between the hours of 11 a.m. and 1 p.m. on completely clear, sunny days. Do not try to expose with rain or cloud cover. Angle the unit towards the sun. There shouldn't be any shadows or rain to block light. While exposing, you will know you've angled the unit properly when the handles of the clamps line up perfectly, like this, and not like this. After 30 seconds, take the unit back inside and remove the drawing, but leave the plate in place. Because this example is for intaglio, the plate will require a second exposure with an aquatint screen. Aquatint screens work in a manner similar to a traditional rosin aquatint, by creating a random texture on the plate of areas that etch and areas that don't etch. In this case, areas that are exposed to the sun and areas that are protected. They are capable of providing subtle tonal gradations and continuous tone. These tonal shifts are dictated by the exposure you already did with the drawing. This just provides the texture. Aquatint screens have two sides, matte and shiny. The matte side is what will make contact with the plate. Take good care of the aquatint screen. Do not press it against tacky or goopy materials that may stick to it. Or clean it with chemicals. With the plate sitting emulsion side up on the unit, set the aquatint screen matte side down for an emulsion to emulsion contact. Secure the unit by placing the clamps in the middle of each side. Check for good contact by looking close to the surface of the unit at an angle. I wasn't able to capture it with the camera, but an oil slick will appear if it has good contact. Check for particles that may block light and dust them away or reposition things if needed. Set the timer for 50 seconds this time. After 50 seconds, take the unit back inside and disassemble it. Turn the water in the sink on to room temperature. Do not use hot as it may dissolve the emulsion faster. Wet the entire plate at once. 
Using the soft bristled brush, make small circles going across the width of the plate. Do not use pressure that may scratch the emulsion. Wet the entire plate again. Then make small circles going across the length of the plate. If you attach two strips of adhesive magnet to a sheet of plexiglass, you can magnetize the plate to it. The plexi is less flexible, easier to hold, and you don't have to touch the emulsion. Intaglio plates will have a subtle surface alteration. With relief, you can visibly see the suds washing away and the levels of the plate change. This is not the case with intaglio. Wash the plate for about two to three minutes until a faint image appears. Blot the plate with the paper. Do not scrub or crumple the paper, but use a smooth, fresh surface with each blot. The paper is lifting up bits of emulsion and you don't want to deposit them elsewhere on the plate. Once the plate is dry, it's ready for post-exposure. Set the plate outside in the sun for at least 10 minutes. This step is less precise and does not require the exposure unit. Post-exposure hardens the plate and gets rid of the gummy quality left over from the water. Once a photopolymer plate has been exposed, it cannot be altered or changed using light-sensitive processes. They're a one-shot deal.